Okay, we are on. All right, this is a quick introduction to an oscilloscope, a cathode ray oscilloscope. And root, this is really nothing more than a graphical voltmeter. If I turn down this knob right here, called the sweep, we see a small dot scrolling across the screen. And that dot moves vertically with the amount of voltage we apply to the channel. It moves horizontally according to a set speed dictated by the setting of this time per division knob. So I can move this knob here, make the dot fly by faster and faster. If I want to make it move up and down, I have to apply an electrical voltage to the input. We've got a probe for doing that. This is a standard oscilloscope probe. You can see the end right there, a little metal piece that's uh, considered like the red test lead of a voltmeter. This would be the equivalent of the black test lead. This is the ground connection. So if I hold up a battery here, we see a 9 volt battery, plus and minus, and I clip the ground lead to the minus, and I clip this to the positive, <coughs> we see the dot go up. So it's representing how much voltage this battery is outputting by how much vertical height we see on the screen. <coughs> and of course, if I switch the polarity, if I put the ground clip on the positive and move this to the minus side, it makes the dot go down. So a positive voltage drives the dot up, and a negative voltage drives it down. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. This is very similar to an old school type analog voltmeter. When you take a look at the knob here for the sensitivity, volts per division, we get to choose the range of this oscilloscope. Presently, we are set at, it says, one half volt per division. But this probe happens to be a times 10 probe. I can disconnect it here and show you. It says right there, 10 to 1. So what it does, it performs a 10 to 1 voltage division ratio. Whatever I apply to the probe tip gets divided by a factor of 10 before it goes into the oscilloscope. So that means with the volts per division knob set at one half volt per division, it actually takes five volts applied out here to move up one division. And you'll not notice right now the dot is not quite centered on the horizontal line, the middle line of the screen. So what I'm going to do is correct that problem by taking this position knob and moving it up. We can also see the line is not quite level either. I can correct that as well by adjusting my trace rotation. This often has to be done if you move the oscilloscope into an area that has a strong magnetic field. It will tend to warp the image on the screen. So trace rotation centers it like that, and then my position knob gets it centered right on the zero line where I want it to take measurements. Now if I clip it to my battery again, ground to the negative and probe to the positive, I see that I drive up almost two full divisions. There's one division and two divisions. Remember, this is half a volt per division through a times 10 probe. So effectively, it is 5 volts per division. So one division here is 5 volts. Another division would be 10 volts. But it's not quite at that second division. So we have to count the minor divisions. And we have uh, five spaces between each of the uh, major divisions here. So if I count the, the minor ticks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If this is effectively 5 volts per division, that means each major division is 5 volts, and each of the minor ticks is 1 volt. So I have 5 volts, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that is indeed what I expect with the 9-volt battery.